This is very, very last minute notice. I've had this. My girlfriend's dad is turning 54. The party starts in 23 minutes. I'm a mess. Looks like I just went to church. I got my holy jeans on. But I figured I'd bring up the motor scooter because I got, uh, well, I got a new engine. I found this one in the garbage, and I believe this one's blown up. I am going to get my drone out. Um, everybody seems to be getting ready. I guess I'm early. I thought I was running late. I love this thing. That didn't go according to plan at all. My thinking was, as soon as I brought up the idea to do this engine swap, that Ian would totally be on board. He was definitely not on board. Now please tell me that you're different than Ian. Please tell me if I gave you this opportunity that you wouldn't turn it down. Would you or wouldn't you? Leave that in the comment section below. There's something goofy going on because I couldn't pull the engine over. I got it freed up. Now I'm going to see if it runs. And just think, that was in the garbage. That was the most difficult part. Now it's just transplanting. Today I'm a doctor. For those of you who don't know much about this scooter, this scooter was actually my first video ever, ever on YouTube. That's back when I had the know-how, but didn't have the skills. My dad had the skills to build it, I had the know-how and the idea for it. It has been sitting upstairs for quite a while. It's been such a long time that these gas lines are actually hard. Instead of screwing with them, you like my lisp, I'm going to try to avoid breaking them, so I have to be really, really careful. Because I'm eventually going to have to change them, it's just today I don't want to. I just want to get the new engine on, I want to try it out, I want to be able to ride it. Quick easy stuff. You know where I'm coming from? Before I tell you what I found out, I want to give you some background. I had the idea, my dad had the welding capabilities, but neither of us had engine experience, so we couldn't get the thing running. That's when Jake's uncle came into play, Roger, he's a small engine mechanic, he got this thing running, so, so it actually took three parties then. I made it my mission to do away with two of the other parties. Now I make up all three parties. I can come up with the idea, I can weld it, and I can fix it. But actually that's not even what I wanted to bring up. What I wanted to bring up was my weight. I probably weighed around 85, 90 pounds when this was built. 
When I graduated high school, I was about 145 pounds. Right now, I'm about 150 pounds. Saying that, I'm extremely excited to share with you what I found out. Can you read what's on that tag for cc's? 18 cc's. This one has 21 cc's, and it's a newer year. So we went up three cc's. This is where I want to do a little bit of math, and I want to see the ratio between power and weight. Because three cc's doesn't sound like a lot, but when you're going from 18 to 21, what does that equate out to, like 10%? I'm happy to say I was off. It's actually 16.66 repeating. That's the percentage increase. Now, what's the ratio between my weight then and now? Okay, unfortunately my weight went up a little bit more, so the power to weight ratio is going to be off, which means even though we have a bigger engine, I have more weight on me. We went up 16.66, that's really good. The only thing is, is the weight is 66.66 repeating. That's way bigger than 16. That's 50% more. Well, I'm glad I don't weigh 200 pounds. What I'm hoping to accomplish is just basically take the other engine, make it look exactly like that, and then put it into place. But since they are different CCs, I like how I keep on saying S's and C's and things that I lisp because of my Invisalign. I gotta thank Owl Orthodontics in Buffalo for that. No, no, they are great. They feel good. They don't get in the way. So I do like them. No, but I have to keep in mind, since they are different CCs, that this piece right here that goes on the back of the engine has to be the same size. While I was doing this, I found a mistake that I made way back in the day. I left a bolt missing, but, but now this engine has that bolt in it. But something I screwed up here was I accidentally dropped this whole assembly on the ground, and since these gas lines were hard, like I mentioned, this one cracked. It's supposed to go there. It doesn't go there. I haven't looked for gas lines yet, but there's nobody open if I don't. Really hoping I have it. I have good news and I have bad news. The good news is I have a good fuel line. I actually have plenty of it. The bad news is I don't have a fuel filter. Gotta go get one. Here's the fuel filter that I purchased. Well, half of it. I've actually had to modify it. I had to take this edge and sand it down. Because it wouldn't fit the line. And they only had this size, so I had to make it happen. They were closing in five minutes. We're gonna make this dream work. We're gonna keep, I wanna ride this thing today. It's gonna bring back some awesome memories. Now I have good news and good news. The first good news is I have the new fuel line on and ready to rock and roll. The other good news is I'm going live. That's gonna act as yesterday's video. I love going live, it's, it's awesome, it's amazing. I get to interact with you guys like in the moment. Really good stuff. I got two shots, I got this shot and I got the live stream shot. There's a, there's a problem. Take two. It wasn't running, I'm on live stream right now. After the live stream, Prince and I have decided to get something to eat. Everybody wanted to see you in the live stream, Prince. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> so we're getting some hot dogs. Well, I am. Prince isn't gonna get any hot dogs, but don't tell him that. I mean, what, what, what? So I was this close when we were done with the live stream. I'm this close now. Before I show you what the problem is, keep in mind, it sucks having a lot of machines. This diaphragm is shot. This is the one that came off the old motor. This is the one that's on the new motor. They're both hard. They both don't move very easily. That's supposed to move very, very easily. So they don't move easily, which doesn't allow the right fuel to go in. They're actually stuck open right now, which is letting the fuel through the carburetor, which is flooding out the engine. It's like having one match and then dumping 10 gallons worth of fuel on it. The gas will probably put the match out. Having a lot of machines is, is bittersweet. The only one you ever answer the phone. That's right, Grandpa. 
Okay, I love you. I love you too. Enjoy your uh, Sunday. Yeah, we might be going to Florida pretty soon, which is really exciting. But back to the bittersweet. So you have like a lot of machines, and if they're all running, then it's really fun. But everything needs maintenance. This Weedbacker scooter needs maintenance. It needs parts. Ah! Give me your advice, please, in the comment section below. Should I pick off some machines and only keep the really good ones? Or should I stay with what I got? It's all so difficult. Leave your advice in the comment section below. I'd really appreciate it. Tomorrow is going to be an extremely busy day. I'm going to make it my mission to get that done and to possibly get the Suzuki going. Move that one step forward because I don't think the Bruin parts are going to come in tomorrow. So we're going to try to get those two accomplished. I know sometimes it seems like we're not moving forward, but we are. It's, it's all steady progression. Slow and steady wins the race. Remember that. I hope you guys enjoyed your day. Thanks for joining me. See you tomorrow. 3D Machines out.